Hi, I'm Danny, and today I will be doing my Black Friday book haul. I went overboard. I went way overboard. This book haul I think is going to be even bigger than my last huge book haul. I will link that book haul below if you should want to see those. I've got packages from Barnes & Noble, Book Outlet, Amazon, and pretty much anywhere I could find a great deal on Black Friday, which was mainly Amazon and Barnes & Noble. But of course Book Outlet too. Book Outlet had 30% off their normal already cheap books, plus they gave you a $5 coupon if you shared their link. So before I actually get into the the Black Friday books, I have a few books to share with you. I finally went to my first book fest this year. So I guess you could call this a book fest Black Friday haul. I've heard of book fest from all sorts of booktubers and I've never been able to find one near me until finally this year we had our first one. And I got a few books and I even got two books from and met the author and got them autographed specifically to me. So let's get into the book fest first and then we'll get into the Black Friday books. First I have All I Want for Christmas is a Vampire by Kirlyn Sparks. This is the fifth book in the Love at Stake series. It is about a girl named Toni whose friend gets put into an insane asylum after she claims that a vampire attacked her. And Toni spends this holiday season trying to prove that her friend is not insane. Next I have Swan Necklace by Peggy Hanshear. And this Sounds like your typical Native American historical romance where a guy meets an Indian girl he finds beautiful and he rescues her, takes her back to her tribe, and somewhere along the way they fall in love. So it sounds typical, but at the same time, it sounded kind of interesting at the same time. Next I have Dreams of a Dark Warrior by Chris Lee Cole. I'm not sure which number in the series this is. This is book nine in her Immortals After Dark series. And through the series we find about this Valkyrie. She's the aunt to Emma in A Hunger Like No Other. And we find out in previous stories about this man she's been supposedly looking for because she's known him in about 10 different reincarnations of his where she meets him and not long after they meet he dies. And so I believe this story it will be about them meeting again and her trying to keep him alive this time. And I think he actually might be a vampire in this life. So I've been wanting to read Rain's story for so long, haven't been able to find it before, and now I have it and I can't wait to start it. Next I have Lover Mine by J.R. Ward. This is book eight in the Black Dagger Brotherhood series. And this has been on my recommended list for Goodreads for quite some time. And so I saw this and it was only a quarter and so you can't beat that price especially for a book this hefty. I think this is about 700 pages and so I decided to finally pick it up. Next I have Beauty and the Werewolf by Kristen Miller. This is a standalone I believe. I don't believe it's part of a series. Two werewolves. One's from one pack and one's from another but these two pack are enemies and they end up finding their mates in each other and that's all I know about this book but I went to book fest and I got some book swag and I had it autographed specifically to me. Next I have Gone with the Wolf by Kristen Miller and again I had this one signed specifically to me also. This is the first book in the Seattle Wolf Pack series and this is about a billionaire named Drake who is close to becoming three centuries and he has given up finding a mate and it is in this world I believe if you don't find your mate by the time you're 300 you just never find them. Just as he's given up he ends up finding her in a woman who has decided to take a second job to try and keep her bar afloat and they end, she ends up working as his secretary or a secretary in the business and yeah, I imagine it takes off from there. It's not very long. It's a little over 200 pages and Kristen Miller was so nice and so sweet and she, even though she, I'm sure she had gone over it 500 times a day, she never seemed to mind when someone asked what each of her series were about. Once I got out of line from asking her, there was like this huge line behind me trying to get to her. So I cannot wait to start these books. The next two books I have are actually birthday presents for my grandmother and her birthday actually has passed and I have Dark Storm by Christine Vihan and Dark Ghost. She's currently reading this one, which is why I only have the dust jacket. And this is one of her favorite series, and I got them really cheap. This one was only a penny with $3 shipping, and this one I think was 14 no, not 14 it was, it is originally $26 retail, but I got this for I think $14 on Black Friday. Okay, now into the Black Friday haul. Let's start with the small Barnes & Noble packages, and then we'll work our way up to the bigger ones. First I have Storm Siren by Mary Weber and can I just first say how beautiful this cover is. This book normally retails for about $16 but I got it for $8 on Black Friday. 
and this is about a character named Nim who is a elemental I believe they're called all, all elemental males at birth are killed for because the kingdom does not want their power to overrule them but Nim is a female elemental which is completely unheard of and her hair is is uh, all, is pretty much well white as you can see it and um, she is constantly sold at auctions from one owner to the next because her powers keep accidentally killing her owners and so this is her very last auction before she is just truly just killed altogether. And while she is on stage at this auction, she accidentally, I think, shock, uh, accidentally lets her powers go at this auction and she gets bought by this guy who is part of the revolution to win their kingdom back. And he gives her two choices. He can kill her now or he can teach her how to use her power and she can help him in his war. And of course, Nim chooses to learn how to use her powers. And so Benjamin Atomes raves about this series and so I've been looking at this book for quite some time and his recommendation just pretty much sold me and I can't wait to start this. And the next Barnes & Noble package. Oh. Next I have a very special book and that is Six of Crows by Leigh Bardugo. And I was lucky enough to get the special edition black page edition which is beautiful. I love it. Especially with the black and red mixed together. I love it. But this is about a group of six people. They get offered this job to break into this place and it is apparently a death a death wish just going into this place. Pretty much all the really big booktubers are loving this book and I've been meaning to try Leigh Bardugo's Grisha trilogy although I'm told that this one is better. So I picked this one up instead of picking up a... I can't remember what the first book in the Grisha trilogy is called. But this is the first book in its series. I think this is going to be a three, uh, a trilogy. And so I am definitely looking forward to this one. And have I mentioned how much I love the black pages? Oh, it's beautiful. And the final Barnes & Noble package. The first book I have out of this box is probably the only one I'm really disappointed about because I did not get the cover I wanted. I wanted the red cover, but unfortunately I got the original white cover. Or is this the redo? I heard the covers were being redone. I'm not sure if this is the redo or if this is the original cover. It is White Hot Kiss by Jennifer L. Armentrout. This is about a 17 year old girl named Layla who is part warden and part demon. And wardens are gargoyles. They protect the human race from demons. And Layla is part, is part demon. And Layla has never been kissed because she has the ability to suck out souls. And it is not something she can choose to do. It just happens anytime she kisses somebody. And then she meets a demon boy named Roth and he is a demon so he has no soul and he's probably the only boy she can kiss because she will not suck out his soul. But Jennifer L. this series is raved about. Jennifer L. Armentrout is a really good author right here. I have one of her other books although I have not read it yet. And uh, so I this story sounded so interesting to me and I picked it up. Next I have Witches of East End by Marissa De La Cruz. This was a TV show and I loved it. I loved the TV show but unfortunately it is not coming on anymore and so I decided to pick up the series which I did not actually know was a book series until I ran across this on Barnes & Noble's bargain section and even if it kills me I will find a way to remove that sticker. I did not like the original book cover for this so I got the TV edition cover and I am so looking forward to starting this one. Next I have The Wicked and the Divine and I cannot pronounce these authors names. The art looks awesome and I'm so looking forward to it. Every 90 years 12 gods return in the form of young people. They are loved, they are hated, and in two years they are all dead. It's happening now, it's happening again. And so as you guys know I love Greek mythology and I'm not quite sure if this is Greek mythology but it sounded really fascinating and a lot of people are loving this comic book and so I decided to pick it up. And that is everything out of the Barnes Noble box. Now this box I have already opened and it is a book outlet box. Uh, book outlet had a after Halloween sale and so that's what this box is. I didn't I didn't think it was big enough for its own haul so I decided to wait for a little while and so I decided to add it in this haul. Next I have Fates by Lainey Bross. This is the first book in the Fates series and this is about a girl with, which is weird because the summary does not even mention her name at least in the book. I believe though on uh, Goodreads it was like Kathy or something or it started with a C I can remember that. And uh, it is about this girl who made a mistake and as punishment the fates decided to punish her by sending her to earth and making sure that any of their plans come out come through without a hitch. And so she is like one person away from being 
allowed back into Olympus or wherever she came from. And then she starts to fall in love with the guy she has to make sure dies. So I imagine there's going to be quite some issues there. Next I have The Darkest Heart by Thea Devine. Now this book is kind of odd to explain. It is about a woman who originally had two sons and then one son dies and her second son ends up taking that man's fiance, his brother's fiance as his soon to be bride. But then the original first brother comes back from the grave as a vampire and decides he wants his bride after all. That's pretty much the what I understood of the summary of this book. And it, I would read it to you, but it's extremely long. So uh, I will link it with all the other books below and you can decide if you want to read it for yourself. Next is a book I'm really excited about. As you guys know, I love the Mortal Instruments series. And so I got The Shadowhunters Godex by Cassandra Clare and Joshua Lewis. And if that isn't great, I got the Slipcase Edition. And this feels just as great as the first one does. And I, I was originally looking for this book everywhere, not realizing that it was a slipcase edition. So I ordered off Book Outlet and was so surprised when it showed up. And the first thing I have to say is that the art inside is awesome. And the pages are golden. And this is just basically the Shadow Hunter handbook that all Shadow Hunters are given. And so I figure I probably won't read this all in one go. I'll probably read like a chapter here, chapter there, chapter there, and we'll see how I feel once I'm done with all of it. Next I have Hex by Michelle Keys. And this is about a girl who comes home from school one day to, fi to find her mother frantic because this, this old family Bible that her mother was pretty much obsessed with has disappeared and she finds out that she is a witch. She's part of some sort of prophecy. And that is all I know about this book. Next I have Isle of the Night. This is the first book in the Watcher series by, by Victoria Wolfe. And it is about this girl in college who gets this offer to become this, I believe, this vampire hunter's assistant. But she has to enter into this competition and the competition is a competition to the death. So I am so looking forward to it. Not too long, just a little over 300 pages and I am looking forward to it. As you can see, I've been getting back into vampire books lately.